click printer. And I like to pick them up uh, on the first 10 waves or so. I like to pick up the fruit early. Because you ensure that you get all the money from them. From harvesting and XP. What a song for farmer. Yeah. True. Uh... Just take the max HP, I guess. Minus 50% materials dropped. That's right. How's work going, Apollo Nick? Hopefully well. We are looking forward to some DRG later. Boring. Yeah. Because no one's there. I. That's actually good. That's like a good sign. It's like, oh no, it's so fucked. Everything's on fire. <laughs> like, oh no, what happened? Maybe these two are more harvesting. This will take speed. Uh, blue card's blue. I guess I'll take range. Keep wanting to re-listen to the song of the Ravenlands and get my notes in order, but then I get distracted and have a hard time starting again. Yeah, for sure. If you need, like, a work party, like, we can work on stuff together, because uh, I have some work I need to do for stream and not, whatnot, so we can bang that out at some point. And then I get to be banging with Apollo and Nick. Who's jealous? Raise your hands in chat. Who's jealous? I also need to convince Ginger to give me um, editing and, and uh, access to a stream so I can export all of his fucking funny-ass clips to YouTube. Make him a YouTube star. Tree. Okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Take some melee damage. More harvesting? Probably not. Let's take the other stats. Let's take attack speed here. I don't have to reroll for anything, so let's just take it. A coupon and some of this. Scar, absolutely. XP so good. Seven gardens, you get minimum of like, what? Like 20 more harvesting this wave? Regardless of, like, what the enemies drop and other things. You'll have three cycles on them. So they drop every, what, 15 seconds or something? Maybe this wave isn't that long. It's just wave four. But, uh, you do get a couple trees spawning and whatnot. Up to 120 harvesting. Yeah, that extra garden just helps pruner even more take the luck actually i'm gonna just take the harvesting but i should take other things and this feels awfully bad not reroll then let's just take the five percent still feels bad not taking the uh purple card take more xp gain fuck yeah bud sure the aliens aren't dropping materials but our harvesting is going through the roof so we're making harvesting even more valuable 60% more valuable at this point in time. You want to think about that in a way. If you're ever worried about dying, you can just not pick up the fruit on the ground. Um, but I find proactively picking it up and being ready to get all the money from your harvesting stat at the end of the wave is the way I like to run it. I would also like to find some weird food and other things, because later in the waves, when you're taking hits and whatnot, you do want to be able to cap off. Sir, why are you giving me more harvesting? I need more damage. Take the crit chance, because the pruners go up. Oh, another scar. Sure, why not? Another coupon. Another pruner. Streamer client absolutely confirmed. Um, it's the third per potato throw I've been offered if you conclude the one that was at the start of the game. Uh, we'll take white flag for minus enemies because plus enemies on this is like not great, but I did take the um, uh, gentle alien earlier. Just a little bit of a hedge back and forth. If you do find a, um, what do you call it? Hunting trophy. 
extra aliens then do come in handy. Can't really bank on finding any, like, purple item. Do I ever pivot off a pruner? Absolutely not. Pruner becomes 2x crit at a high level as well, too. Um, and uh, the only way I would pivot off of it is, like... Oh, like, how, like, wait, I'm trying to think of, like, how or why. They do enough damage, like, you keep scaling your harvesting constantly, so, like, I don't know. They're 2x crit on, like, tier 4, so. I don't want this to be armor or hit points. Well, there's hit points. Willy Bum Bum Sung? My thoughts are, um, I'll have what they're having. Holy shit. Like, how are people so creative and hilarious? We try again on that. And yeah, there you go. Now I can trade my three armor for 25% damage. It is quite hilarious. How are people so creative? Let's just trade that. Let's take that trade. Take a B, save the ritual, reroll once, feel bad about it, grab the bag. Again, putting our Easter stuff up, even though it's just after Christmas here. But yes, I'll have what they're having. My God, they're very creative. And it is also very like, has like high production quality, like a surprisingly high production quality to it. So thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Why is the audio from, like the audio is just so quiet. It's like called various motifs. I don't understand. Outer wilds are so quiet. Don't do that. I'm trying to listen to us some music while we slap the aliens. End of the wave here, come pick up all the fruits as much as possible. 252. Looking for a crown. Hey, more armor. Wonder where all my other armor went. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, goodbye, armor. More tree, more scaling. More crit and damage, more scaling. This is an aggressive reroll. We'll take the snail for sure. And the purple burner. Ugh. Ow. I thought I could kill him in a volley, so I just stood there and just let them hit me in the face. Not the case. And then walk into him. Good job. Good job, bud. Fucking doing it. <laughs> this is not the alien genocide, okay? We are not on the aliens planet. They came to Potato Landia. And they talk to the Potato Council, and they have their whole war fleet out there, and we're like, yo, we don't we don't want to fight, yo. And they're like, yeah, but we're going to fight. So, like, you should, like, 1v1 us. And uh, then, like, our champion Potato, our hero Potato here, who's just a mere farmer out here, like, defending his homeland against the alien aggression, they said, LOL, are you really going to 1v1? And it's like, yeah, I'm an honorable Potato. No, no, not in my head cannon, Psycho. Not in my head cannon. The alien, the alien said, "Let's one v one, bro," and we said, "Okay." Is this mod more balanced? Ramsed, uh, Ram. I do not know, because it does not matter what I think about balance, because I have qualms with the base game and I have qualms with this. I just, I'm enjoying playing it, so I don't know if it's more balanced or not. Like. Hard to say. I have a 40 streak on the base game, and I currently am working on a 15 streak, so. I'm having fun either way. And um, have you played any of the, any of it? Yeah, no, they're supposed to 1v1, but the alien said, Lameo, get fucked, loser, we brought the squad. But I'm an honorable potato who agreed to a 1v1, so that's why I'm out here alone. 
fighting for it. Fighting for everything. Yeah, let's get some more hit points. That's fine. Uh, let's go up to do... Do like this. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. They are one. Oh, if they're a hive collective, they think it's one. Oh, I like that. I like that as, like, my own personal headcanon. What? We're 1v1-ing. <laughs> it's just... Like, the Borg are like, what? We're trying to 1v1 you, bro. Why do you have so many individuals fighting us? Like, what are you talking about? This is a 1v1. <laughs> All the charging guys went to the opposite side of the map, and I have not been able to fight them. And I feel that they may come and kill me at some point. I am concerned. I have concerns about this. Ugh. I'm adding that to the headcanon, that uh, aliens are just one collective hive. Calico Rose, hello! How was the rest of your Christmas, now that it's over? Oh, better. My attack speed's very low, but so's my damage, but so's my attack speed. I'm gonna take the attack speed here. I don't want this dodge, too. Hashtag not sponsored. Two purple weapons rather than one. Crimbo was fine. Ate food. That was basically it. Fuck yeah. Love eating food. It's actually my favorite kind of Christmas where just like food eating happens. There's always somebody out there who invariably gets me a present and I'm just like, please stop. Like, I said I just want to be here and hang out. Can you, can you not? Thank you. Power generator for more damage. That's like an interesting thought. Converting stat other stats into damage is always like very strong. All right, here is a weapon that might convince me, Apollo Nick, to, to switch out of a pruner, a ghost axe. But like, I think the pruners fire so much faster that they counterfeit the ghost axe, but they don't do a lot of damage. So uh, it's like a thought. Anyways, let's just take the... Really taking the gummy berserker? Fuck. You gonna get me a present? Hello. Well, well, well. Those kind of presents we're into, okay? Hup, hup, hup. Or like, uh, I think I stole this from Apollo Nick. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Huh? 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 Damage is okay. Attack speed feels good. Yeah, meow. Oh no, what's this? What's this right, Meow? I don't know if you've seen the movie Super Troopers. I got boomer humor over here, so... Uh... Sure? By speed. Yeah, exactly. Make you mo not move. Oh my god, no, we're never doing redeems like that. The, like, horror show redeems. Ugh. The closest thing I have to a redeem is at a thousand followers, I will play spooky games. The closest thing to, like, uh, uh, that type of thing. Or, like, the Twitch integrations or whatever, right? Luigi Mansion? Uh, I don't know that I'll ever play Luigi Mansion on stream. Maybe. I was thinking more of like Amnesia, all the Amnesia series, Dead by Daylight, phas Phasmophobia, um, Layers of Fear is something that's in my library already. Oh man, that's so much damage. Um, let's ignore it and pretend like it doesn't exist. Oh, that's pretty good. More harvesting shirt. Sure. Or 
more speed, more range. You learn me the things? Fantastic. A lot of thousand followers, that's where we're at. I do already own it. Uh, Bimka, my mod in chat, I think I played it with her long ago. There will also be some exploring I want to do in the game, but once I've explored to a point, then we can we can hop in the the duo lobbies. There will be there will need to be some exploration and learning. It's one of the things that's annoying when you like first pick up a game and someone's like, "Here's all the things," and you're like, "Yeah, I, I can't even understand what is happening in the game right now." Like, can we chill. It's not that it's not nice or anything. Like, I'm way into like playing games with people. No problems there. But uh, there is like a ramping up period of like getting your Phasma on, Grandma? Hell yeah. That's my thousand follower uh, goal or whatever. I think it's the thousand followers is like below the stream or whatever. We're at the 386, so... The old-fashioned things that just don't uh, have the super strong stuff. Turn your friend in a morp guy who's been playing for years. They give you M-game gear, and now you have nothing to do. Yeah, that that maple. That's exactly that's exactly what happens. So like, here's everything. Here's how you do everything, and you're like, okay, I don't know the joy of the game. So, <coughs> excuse me. One of the things that I like to do in a game is find the joy in a game. Like, why is this fun? How is this fun? Um, oh, power generator's back. Uh, sure. So that's what that's part of the discovery of a game is that why is it fun? How is it fun? Um, what are the sharp edges that you get caught on? Is that fun to like fix those things, right? Some of the gameplay loops, it's totally fun. It's totally great. Some of them not really. I do have stone skins. So taking handcuffs is awfully weird here, but uh, oh, I don't know how to do math. So I guess I don't take the handcuffs. Save those for later. Yeah, this is like uh, when I got coaching in Hades and it was a good way to like think about it. It's like, hey, once you get to the final cut scene of the game, which is like killing Hades like some amount of times, I did not do so much damage to mom because like she's gonna morph and like I'll be sad. She'll morph at 35? Yeah. Uh, and I'll be sad anyways, because I don't have enough damage to kill mom here. But, uh, and she'll slash my fucking face off. Be great. So, uh, yeah, so like, with, like, discovering that joy about the game. I've tried to do this with Jindred. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not, but he and I are playing Factorio, and I've played like 2,000 hours of Factorio, and we're, we're doing it as a little side thing that we just have fun with occasionally. Uh, and I'm like, okay, go unwind this problem over here. I don't just, like, show him how to unwind the problem, because part of the joy of Factorio is unwinding the problems. Um, so, I was like, Ginger, do you want to set up power, or do you want to set up red science? And he was like, I'll set up power. Cool. Do you want to set up green science, or do you want to set up this other thing? I'll set up green science. Cool. Do you want to set up this thing, or do you want to set up military science? I'll set up military science. Cool. Um, I was like, cool, I'll make more iron for us to do. I'll make more steel for us to have. I'll make this, that, or the other thing, right? Because I can do the mundane, inane things of, like, getting more iron or whatever. But I try to get, like, here are the things that we need to solve currently. So he's not stumbling through the, like, what do I need to solve currently? But I'm also just not giving him everything of, like, oh, hey, I set it all up. Look, I set it up. Also, your first spaghetti factory is fucking artwork. The first, like, factory portions he set up past the, like, smelters was is fucking beautiful. Uh, it's a work of art. I have a hard time past green science? Yeah. But, I mean, it gets hard. Like, blue science is a huge stopping point for people that they made blue science easier. Um, a lot of damage. I don't think I take it, though. I take Schmoop instead, even though it's, like, so overcosted. Cool. Oh, cute monkeys here. Great. Uh, more pruners up to tier 4. Love that. And then another pruner up to tier 4. 
Game gets real hard, and you need more space than you ever think that you'll need, and then, yeah, you have to solve- it's a crisis management while you're solving, you know, building- building your base and unwinding these things. If you don't like fighting the aliens, you can also just turn off the aliens, so, like, there's accessibility features there as well, too. Basically, what it comes down to is just build more stuff. Just constantly build more stuff. Stop building stuff in your pocket and build more stuff. And you have the robots fly everything around for you at some point. It's awesome. Because how to design a factory changes when you, like, get robots to fly everything around for you. Which is great, too. I can just wander in here. Excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. And then all the pruners have so much healing on the floor for you. Like, why would you ever get away from a pruner? Probably should have taken that ghost axe. But, like, why would you ever get away from a pruner? So much damage. And there's so much healing. So, like, you get so much value. Uh, I don't think I want any of this. Try again, game. Oh, hey, more crit. It's more damage. We need... Uh, written range, sure. Tentacle, of course. Perfect buyout all the way to zero. Oh my goodness. But yeah. The biggest thing for me is finding joy in the game and like why is the game fun and for me for Brotato every run is unique every run has its own problems like 44 different characters uh, creating the challenge mode for myself of like get a win streak across all the characters is like feels good in my brain I don't know um, like, Ginger might be able to tell me, like, how hard is the 40 win streak compared to, like, True Crown and Spelunky 2? Like, it's probably, like, as hard as Cosmic Ocean rather than, like, I, I, I think it's on pair with just finishing Cosmic Ocean in general in Spelunky 2 and not True Crown. I don't know if it's as hard as True Crown. nullifies the first two plus damage hit taken each wave. Oh, that's an interesting change. Any damage hit over two, it nullifies. So this means self-damaging items ignore tardigrade. Interesting. Also gonna have a sweet purple health bar. Like, we love purple. Uh, what's this? My range is, like, way too high. Do I want the rest of this, though? Probably melee damage is fine. Because we have crit, right? Please die in one hit. Lock. Uh, pick up range. Pruner. Next. See? Look at our sweet purple health bar. do need to push off the ad break that we're going to take here in a little bit. Which gives you a little snooze button. But yeah, the gameplay feels really smooth. The hitbox feels really good on, uh, on Brotato. Like, I don't know. Five bucks, too. Like, we dodged that hit, so we got to keep our purple shield. This is a horde wave, I believe. Yeah. Has to be right. Okay. We eventually took some hits because I wanted to step forward and uh, collect a bunch of stuff. We have eight hundred and seventy-nine. Get to have a pet turret. Makes no good. Don't care. Uh, armor's great. All these are trash. More luck. More cute monkey. Absolutely. I 
XP gains even better. Again, we could take a Ghost Axe, but who cares? Take a second Glass Cannon. Oftentimes people are like, oh, I never take Glass Cannon. Sometimes you just take the items that are there. And just, oh, yeah, that was good. They look spooky because, like, minus three armor is, like, awfully spooky, but not that spooky. There'll be times to take it. Because in this game, you can never say, I will never take that item. I mean, you can, but, like, you're going to have a bad time, I believe. There'll be times that you need to take these items to be able to get through. One of the things is I can look introspectively of how I fucked up the run long before I say it's like all luck or all this or oh the game fucked me over da 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 da. No, they're there. I think there. It's been a long time since there's been a run that like I got fucked over on luck. I didn't feel like. I feel like I, if I do danger zero win streaks, which is incredibly boring, because um, the game's not hard enough on danger zero for myself. Um, like, do you ever lose? Exclamation point music. This is the OST from um, Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds OST. Mm. I don't want any of this. Usually have it in the title, but I did not. Hey, garden. Hey, crap. A little late, but okay. Hey, blood donation. Usually in the past you couldn't take this because tardigrade, but you can take this now. Interesting. Too late for it, but. Fairy plus 14. Okay. More alien eyes, more goat skull for fairy. Another garden, Jesus. Alright, that's three gardens now. Oh wow, you already transformed? Okay. This is why you don't pivot out of printers, because they still do enough damage. Mostly like stacking harvesting to the fucking sky on this character just means you just have so many extra stats and so many extra items. And that, and that is facilitated by all of the, uh, all of the gardens. Also, damage per second is terrible on Farmer. <laughs> yeah. Correct. It's ultra terrible, because you have to time it to pick up all the fruits. Mostly you pick them up at the end, though. Like, I don't find that taking it's so bad, but it is, like, it is pretty bad. Uh, because we have the fairy, do not take this. This is a huge quality of life increase, where they put the fairy next to the items. I love that. Cyberball? Eh, whatever. 80 range. I already have 130 range. It's actually kind of a problem to have this much range right now. More range. No. I can't imagine what, like, loses me this run, but we're going to find out here shortly. Oh, hey, more percent damage from glass cannons. I think that's the third? The fourth one we've been offered. Uh, oh. Uh, when you minus one HP from consumables... An interesting change. Sure. Olive Garden? Where? Oh, because all the gardens, yeah. But it's interesting that you could just not be at max HP um, with Tardigrade. You could be at not at max HP and still have Tardigrade due to taking, like, one damage hits. But that only... Suffice it. Oh, did did Dark Twinge break up all of the hits from every individual self-damaging items? Because if that if you have two self-damaging items, Tardigrade does not work. Because they're all viewed as one hit, right? Like the scythe is viewed as like one hit. But if you have um like two blood donations, it's viewed as one hit and it's viewed as two damage, so it would break Tardigrade. We're at 1270 right now. Let's see how much we get in. 
Going from 1270 to 1508. Do not need a ricochet. Ricochet has a lot more wording on it to describe what bounces, which I think is great as well. Take the speed, take the steroids, take none of this, take speed, take none of this, take the attack speed, because we're only at 20 attack speed. Yeah, there's triangle power. I just look at a bunch of this and it's like, why? Why? I just I, I don't need any of this. We're gonna take the med kit. We're gonna take the bait. Take a frog, sure, why not? Fourth garden. This is kind of out of control. It's not as the uh, highest harvesting I ever got on uh, this character, but I got 3,000 one time. So I guess we just keep buying harvesting so that we uh, try to get that direction. Land freeze. What's up, buds? Outside of that, what a great run. That's why in Danger 6 we take out Wave 19. Need wave 19, just throw him straight into the boss. Gameplay, baby. Gameplay. The gameplay, the gameplay came when uh, we were playing earlier. We've played so well that we can do this. Well, that's nice. Pretty into that. Save my hands, right? As a... As an elite just like comes up and annihilates my face from being buffed up. See, we're good. Don't worry about it, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, I'm not even at Dodge Cap. Well, shopping time. Buy all the items. It's actually pretty good. Eh. Focus. Sure. One more reroll for the road. Oh yeah, baits are here. Whoops. Didn't notice. Yo, Invoker, yo. Hey, yo. Your student loans are overdue, my man. We need to talk. Sick run. So sick. Yeah, you just outscale by having, I don't know, a jillion gardens. You get to have 11 gardens, and we get to have 2,251 harvesting by the end. And we only got this in the last three rounds, and Crown gave us 467 more harvesting. So, pruner good. Never get off a of pruner. Always hold on to the pruner the whole game. Uh, because it's twice as good in this mod pack. And we're level 40 at the end here, right? Which rivals some of the other... With, that's mutant levels of level, so... So the, mut the mutant will get you there as well too. We got a plus 130% XP gain. So like XP is just gain is so good on this character. We were able to buy what was it three or four scars really early. Um, got offered four glass cannons and take all of them. But yeah, that's another thing that just gives you a ton of damage. Quite a new run.